What's up, internet? After five years, nag-upgrade na ako, finally. Naging running joke nga sa shop na sobrang luma ng computer ko. Yung PC nitong lalaking ito. <laughs> no! Please, what? Fourth gen na Intel. Tapos naka DDR3. Ah, masaya naman tayo for him. <laughs> Parang kumbaga, welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> Bibili ka ng PC, tapos na hindi kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Akal ito. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need. Add to cart. Daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes. Finished. May legit working CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com Introduce ko lang yung bagong baby ko. First up, the CPU is a Ryzen 7 3700X. So one generation behind. Currently, naka 5000 series na tayo ng AMD. Actually, second hand tong CPU na to from a hardware sugar customer. Ayun niya tanggapin yung payment, but I will force you to take my money. But thank you so much for selling it to me second hand. Actually, the R7 3700X is still a very good CPU, especially now na medyo mahanap mo na sa secondary market. I was kind of toying between the 3700X and the 5600X, pero si 3700X may 8 cores and 16 threads, compared to 6 and 12 para sa 5600X. Since I do use my computer a lot for editing, para may isip ko sulit naman yung added cores. Although kung gaming lang talaga habol mo, you don't really need a CPU with a lot of cores. Motherboard is a gigabyte. Personally, I love gigabyte motherboards. I find them very reliable. Yung dati ko rin computer, gigabyte. Di mo nga kailangan ng Oros, yung pinaka high-end na line ni gigabyte. Mine is just a X570S Gaming X. X570 chipset, but definitely not the top of the line of Gigabyte. Pero tiwala talaga ako sa Gigabyte for their motherboard. For their motherboards, not for their PSUs, which is a whole different kind of worms. Actually, I wanted the X570 Gaming X, yung mas low end the MOBO nila. I think wala pa atang ARGB header yun or something. Pero di ko naman plano mag ARGB or actually even RGB in general, as you can see from the build behind me. So, saktong-sakto yung X570 Gaming X for what I need. Very basic MUBO, X570 chipset, tapos walang Wi-Fi connection. Again, di ko kailangan ng Wi-Fi, naka-LAN cable naman siya. I prefer LAN, it's simpler, more reliable. So, nakikita mo yung mga tips ko dati na know what you need, ginagamit ko rin para sa setup ko. Ano ba itong X570S? Basically, it's just a refreshed version of the previous motherboard. Mas maganda lang daw yung cooling ng VRMs niya. Usually, yan yung hinahanap ng mga enthusiasts. Better cooling for the VRMs. You're supposed to be able to get better performance. I would have been happy with the older Gaming X MOBO. Pero ito lang on the market. Yung designation na yun, X570S. Gigabyte nga MOBO ko. But I've noticed other manufacturers also use it like MSI. My GPU, of course, most important for gaming is a Zotac 3080. Nagaling rin to sa Hardware Sugar customer. Binalik niya kasi reniklamo niya na yung isang fan parang medyo and then he bought a new 3080 from us from MSI. We could have sent it back to the supplier, but to be honest, I'm not that particular about noise, and it's good to have an extra GPU in the shop. Pag may sira na GPU, we lend it out to the customer para naman may magamit sila habang hinihintay nila na bumalik yung GPU nila from RMA. And, uh, well, we ended up using it for me. I'm not very particular about noise because usually when you're gaming, <laughs> there are a lot of other noises happening. EIO is a Kraken X53 na galing din sa shop, na galing din sa customer. Kwento naman ito, binilik ni customer kasi gusto niya all white. Pero yung white ng AIO, medyo may yellow tint, hindi talaga full white. Yung problema dito, pagdating sa shop, tinatry namin i-replicate, white talaga siya. Hindi talaga namin makita yung yellow. Medyo mahirap mag-RMA from NZXT. But we just kept it in the shop as an extra AIO. Yung pinapareview na coolers, we do keep them so that we can use them for our customers. Um, and I guess, am I, am I considered a customer of the shop? I guess, maybe. So, I really wanted to try an AIO kasi yung luma kong build wasn't an option when I built my PC five years ago. So, tatlong bagay na to, and very important parts actually, na second hand sa build ko na to. Yung bago kong build, maraming second hand parts. The CPU, the GPU, and the AIO. Hardware Sugar is a shop. Of course, we want you to buy parts from us. 
Pero I really recommend if you have a trusted person, let's say kaibigan mo or galing sa amin, Hardware Sugar also sometimes sells secondhand parts. If you can find a good secondhand source, sulit talaga yung mga secondhand. New RAM, T-Force, Dark Z8, 2X16. Usually for gaming, we just recommend 2X8. But since I do do editing, I thought 32 gigabytes would be okay. We really do like Team Group actually for their memories. We sell a lot in the shop. In fact, in storage ko dito, Team Group din, MP33, NVMe, M.2 SSD na 512 gigabytes. Yun lang yung bago kong storage. Uh, I really wanted also to try an NVMe drive. Grabe yung M.2 screws na yan. I, I actually <laughs> makes you really appreciate the Q-latch that ASUS has on their motherboards. Actually, the performance of an NVMe versus a SATA SSD, yes, there's a difference, but in real-world applications, feeling ko sobrang liit lang. My games, I'll store on a SATA SSD, na 1TB, na Crucial, nagaling sa dati kong rig. Parang yung Crucial, same quality as nung Samsung, pero mas mura. But you need to check which line you're getting. Yung MX line nila yung maganda. And then rounding out the storage na kinanibalize ko from my old PC is a 1TB Seagate. And an 8TB WD Purple na CCTV drive, but which I use for my data files. My PSU actually is from FSP. They sent it to us for review. Matagal na. Yan yung ginamit ko sa luma kong PC. And then transplant ko, dinipat ko from my old PC to my new PC. The case is a Thermaltake Core P3. Yung medyo nakakalit na tong case, so you need to assemble the case then. Medyo na challenge ako konte. I'm used to enclosures na. Yun nga, enclosure na siya. Pagbukas mo, assembled na yung case. But it was also fun assembling the case. Di ko nang alin nagay yung TG side panel and yung posts. May apat na posts dyan sa corners para malagay mo yung TG side panel. But actually, I quite like it like this na very naked, medyo open test bench vibe. Uh, we do carry it in Hardware Sugar. If you're interested, it comes in black and white. At yung maganda sa case na to, gumagana yung power button. Saya pala magkabagong PC. <laughs> it, it's the little things that make a difference. Thinking about the case, you'll notice na medyo nakaangat yung AIO ko. Hindi dapat ganon. In a standard build, the AIO should fit inside the frame of the case. Why is mine protruding? Kasi hindi ko sinundan yung advice ko. Palagi kong sinasabi dito sa channel na measure first. Make sure everything fits inside your case bago ka bumili. Isip ko naman na malaki naman siyang case, parang open air naman siya, full ATX. Siguro kasha naman yung lahat ng items na ilalagay ko doon. Pero hindi. <laughs> Medyo mahaba kasi yung Zotac 3080. Not uncommon with a lot of the newer cards. Medyo mahaba talaga yung 3080s, 3070s, onwards. Uh, 318 millimeters ata to, 318, 320. Uh, it was too long. Alright, moment of truth. Technically, malito. Dapat siyempre parang within the case siya. Pero mahaba kasi ng GPU natin. So, inakit ko yung radiator para may clearance tayo dito. So, tingnan natin kung may clearance nga ba si GPU. Because this big boy is so damn long, 3080. Alright, let's see. Okay, pasok si GPU and... Beautiful. Look at that clearance. Makita mo talaga kung hindi natin inakit yung radiator. Tatama talaga siya. Hanggang dito lang si... So may one-fifth pa ni GPU. Parang 20%. Hindi talaga kasha. That's what I like about PC building. You can kind of work on it on the fly. I got my AIO. I got my GPU. I got to use the case I wanted to use. That's actually what I miss about building your own PC. Ikaw nagsasabi na, Oh, ito okay lang sa akin. Oh, ito. Lagay ko to dito. Nagdadahilan lang kasi hindi ko chinek yung specs. <laughs> and thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin to kupuan na to. Hindi, joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.